welcome back everyone. I have some amazing winter outfits to share with you today in this video. They're very feminine, they're not boring, and they're very stylish. I put together these outfits with you in mind so that you can go and recreate something similar from your wardrobe. I'm working off of a lot of basics and just some tips and tricks that I've been learning along the way as I've been developing my own style and just kind of doing my own research and I want to kind of share that journey with you so that hopefully we can help each other out. Before I get started, if you are new here to my channel and you're interested in seeing more girly girl fashion videos from me, go ahead and click that subscription button. I give you my absolute best in bringing you fresh and inspiring fashion content every Saturday. So be sure to click that notification bell on the side as well so you never miss any of my styling videos. You can also go follow me on my Instagram where I post all those girly pretty pictures and all that. Okay, let's get into it. I know you are here for the outfits. So for my first outfit, I really focus on bringing in light colors to the outfit, specifically white, because I do feel like lighter colors can bring a softness to the look that really makes it feel more feminine. And something that I picked up on as I've been on my own fashion journey is that if you really want to elevate and bring a more expensive look to your outfit, go for a monochrome look. Go for all white or different hues of the same color because that will really make your look appear very high fashion. So first I have this gorgeous pleated maxi skirt, which I used to think that I could only wear this in the summer because of its lightweight fabric, but recently I've discovered that that is not the case. I just feel like this skirt or this type of style with the pleats in it is just such a classic for the feminine style. I got this skirt from a Lauren Conrad collection a few years ago and I will be sure to leave similar items links down below. In fact, everything in this video is going to link down below in my description box. So be sure to check that out if you end up liking any of the outfits that I share with you in this video today. So this is the lovely piece that started off my very feminine look for this first outfit. I then went for this crochet knit cardigan from Alice and Olivia as my choice for the top. I really appreciated the black ribbons on this and I wanted to add hints of that black detail throughout this outfit because I really do feel like it, it gives a finishing touch and gives more detail to the finished look. And I do have a white tank top layered underneath this knit cardigan just because of the nature of the material. It's kind of like an open crochet knit, but the actual material of the sweater is really good. It's nice and heavy and it does give some warmth to the outfit. Layered on top of my cream knit sweater, I do have this shaggy faux fur coat. This is a recent purchase, so I've just added this to my closet, and this is going to be a staple for me for every winter season now because this is just like one of those coats that you'll always grab. At least for me, I always love a good statement coat. And of course I needed to keep to the all white color palette. So I wanted to have some ivory slash cream colors to include for my outerwear. But the added texture in this outfit is just the icing on the cake for me. All three different styles of fabric and texture are working together to make this outfit unique. This is definitely not a boring winter outfit. And then my Steve Madden white ankle boots were my choice for footwear since it really complements the white color palette. These boots always seem to make it to the top of my list whenever I'm trying to put together a feminine outfit. They're just very sturdy and extremely comfortable and wearable. I wanted to add some of my favorite feminine trends to this outfit, so I ended up including my rouged uh, black velvet headband. This is very comfortable. This is something that I picked up in Anthropology Clearance and I have been loving it. It's very comfortable. It's got like this foam inside this section of the headband and then I don't get headaches from this. Thank goodness. I can actually wear it throughout the day and it does add a bit of that feminine trendy look to your outfit which I love because it's an affordable way to do that. And then my Kate Spade sequined clutch was my handbag of choice for this look as well just because it's adding more of those black details to the outfit that just I think overall really complements this first look. The second outfit I put together I ended up starting out with my vintage style white jeans. These jeans have a nice loose style at the bottom and then you have the high waist giving it more of that mom jean look so bring it to more casual especially with material being denim. Next I used a few different shades of brown throughout this look to really bring in a neutral color palette. So I started off by using this brown sweater from Chicwish. The reason I selected this piece in particular is because of the style and cut of this piece. You have feminine details 
written all over it. Like it's got the puff sleeve, you have the frill or the ruffle tam at the bottom of the sweater. There are just some things about this sweater that really helps balance the casualness of this outfit and helps bring in a little bit more of that feminine feel to the outfit. And then adding a little bit more brown to the outfit, I did go for my boots. These have a nice block heel on them, which makes it really easy to walk around in, very comfortable. This tan wool overcoat, I ended up layering on top of that brown sweater and it adds that warmth that I need. But I really like how simple this is because there are lots of different things that you could do to this to really change up your look without feeling like it's overwhelming. I just, I love a good simple classic piece like this that you can just throw on top of an outfit and just look effortlessly chic. I chose a classic beret hat in beige as a way to accessorize this outfit in a very feminine way, but also make it wearable for cold weather. And you'll notice that I also, once again, kept to that brown color palette. And then the pink handbag adds that fashion blogger aesthetic to the outfit. Pink just has this magical way of softening any look. So if you really aren't sure or you just want a tried and true way of making your, your look very feminine, go for pinks. I absolutely love how this outfit turned out. The only thing that I would change about it is that you have a little bit of this bagginess around the knee, but that's just because the pants are kind of like a looser mom jean style. So that's the only problem I ran into. But other than that, I absolutely love it. This look, I really got creative with darker colors. When I think of feminine style, I usually think like it needs to be a light color, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, but you can have dark moody colors and still have a very feminine look. So first off, this is my dark piece. This is the dark moody skirt that I'm gonna be using in this outfit. It's a tiered, very feminine style with the ruffles on there. This is a skirt that I'm actually renting right now from Newly, and it's from a brand called, oh, it's Hutch again. I definitely have an obsession with Hutch right now. So in order to really bring a light feminine twist to this outfit, I wanted to pair this pink silk blouse with that tiered maxi skirt. And silk, I think, is often associated with feminine style. So if you are really wanting to bring in a more feminine aesthetic to your outfit, go for a silk blouse. And it doesn't really matter what color, any type of silk or satin material is really gonna elevate your look and bring a more high fashion, feminine appearance to your overall look as well. You also have the ruffle detailing, which I feel like makes it very chic. So continuing on with that thought of including pink hues to soften up the look. My pink bow heels from Lulu's. These are very affordable and my absolute favorite shoe right now, especially as we're getting into all the Valentine's Day outfits. These have been my, if I did a favorites video, these would be in it. And of course my little pink purse always makes its way into outfits like this when I'm going for pink accessories because it's pink. And then my outerwear selection for this outfit, I wanted to stick to the pink. So I ended up opting out for my pink chic wish coat with the faux fur collar and the wool overall style of this, which just makes it very wearable. Easy to wear this outfit since I am working with silk, I definitely need to layer it up during the winter months. And then just as a little extra detail, I did include this pearl pin in my hair just kind of put it into the side having the pearl pin in there with a little bit of a soft wave in your hair just kind of really softens the look and makes it look expensive i don't know pearls are just the rage right now everybody is loving their pearls and they're such a classic they're always going to be in pearls will always be a classic and they're an easy way to really elevate your look and make it look expensive. I meant to mention this, but I do feel like the different shades of pink throughout the outfit are what really makes it very soft. I mean, the skirt adds the romance, but I felt like the different shades just kind of all worked really well together. And then you have the skirt as a statement. I don't know. I just really like how the pinks are really working very nicely together. And it's still very wintry, but very soft and chic at the same time. So I love it. For this next outfit, I'm getting back to those white jeans because I've just rediscovered them in my closet. So they keep finding their way into these outfits, which these are the only white pants that I own in my closet. So definitely need to be thinking about that this year, starting investing in more light colored bottoms in my closet for this upcoming year. 
this is where we're getting very trendy. So the pieces that I decided to style on top of the white jeans to really dress it up ended up being this silk white blazer. And then underneath the blazer, I've got this corset top. The corset and blazer trend I'm loving right now. It's that sexy feminine business look with this one very, very soft. And this is my favorite way to wear this trend and most wearable in my opinion. I just haven't found a way as of yet that I've necessarily felt like the corset trend was all that wearable, but with a blazer on top of it, I feel like it's effortless. But just to add a little bit more detail to this outfit, you do also have the lace on top of this crop top. So lots of hints of feminine detail and romance to this look that really keeps it very soft but structured and casual with the denim jeans. And I wanted to just throw in a neutral color as far as my footwear and I actually have not pulled these brown boots out for a long time and these are such good boots. I don't know why I have not been pulling these out this winter which I'm going to now since I've discovered how it looks with those white jeans. I just can't believe how much I've overlooked these boots in my closet this year and they are such a good feminine style boot to really bring in a lighter brown, a lighter neutral to the outfit and keep it nice and soft. And then for my outerwear, I did go for my pink faux fur to add a little bit of that pink to the outfit because opting for pink is just kind of my rule, my little trick to making the look a little bit more girly and feminine. And this has just been doing that for me this winter. I absolutely love this coat, if you can't tell. So this bag ended up coming a little bit later in the mail and I had already started filming the video. So I didn't include this into the outfit, but I am just for this section of the video because I think it just goes really well with the whole look. So this is gonna be in a video coming up. It's from Red Dress Boutique and I'll give my whole review on it and everything, but I'm really excited about this bag because I feel like it would be the perfect finishing touch to the outfit. And the only other thing that I would change about this outfit is I would just rent this in a smaller size because it's definitely a little bit too big on me but with all the layers on top of it it really doesn't affect the outfit so just wanted to mention I did just get this and I think it would have been the perfect piece to style with it but I just didn't have time to include it into the video aside from right now so I'm inserting it now as a possible purse to pair with the outfit but I'm guys I'm really upping my purse game now my handbags they're going to be turned around this year I am going to make much more of an effort with that but anyway that is the finished look this dress from Rachel Parcel, which actually is the perfect piece to be wearing this time of year with Valentine's Day right around the corner. It has that girly ruffle detailing at the bottom of the dress, not to mention the pink and blush and burgundy throughout the whole thing. You've got a Swiss dot on there. This is just a beautiful piece. I love Rachel Parcel pieces. I just feel like they're just the one of the classic brands that I go to for a very feminine style that's a mostly affordable. Some of our dresses are getting pretty expensive, but this one was worth it. So this is the piece that I used to start the look off with, and this is definitely helping me get a very feminine look with this outfit. And then of course my go-to pink styling accessories to make it very easy. My pink shoe, ooh, my pink shoes and my pink handbag. I did want to share with you um, the earrings that I decided to pair with the outfit. This is my little uh, jewelry case, by the way. This is my entire jewelry collection right here. And most of my jewelry is gold, which if you'd like a little video on this, I'd be happy to do that. But the accessories that I paired with this were just these gold heart-shaped hoops. Well, not hoops, statement earrings. Um, they just, I think, are very girly and feminine. Those are the earrings that I decided to pair with this outfit. <laughs> this is my final look for this outfit. I just love how you have the statement faux fur jacket, but then you have a really soft feminine dress with the blushes and the burgundy colors throughout the whole thing. I just, I really, really feel like this outfit represents my style very well. Just having a big statement piece and then a feminine uh, look thrown in there. So yeah, 
this one. I think, I think this is going to be the one I'm going to wear for Valentine's Day. I've gone back and forth this year with outfits that I want to wear, but I just feel like this is it. Got that feeling that this is the one. So we are down to my last outfit. And for my last outfit, I had to do the cape coat. Once again, these white jeans ended up starting to look off with. And then I went for this white blouse. This is a, a white blouse from Simple Retro, which I think is a beautiful brand. They have some amazing pieces on there for a really good price. And their fabric is really good quality. I've really enjoyed some things I've gotten from them. This is in more of like a fitted style. And then the jeans come up to a nice high waist. So the two ended up working very nicely together. And then of course, styled on top of this white blouse, the beautiful cape coat. This is another piece from my Chic Wish haul. If you haven't seen my Chic Wish haul, I will leave it linked above. Found so many good pieces in that. But this piece is in that very classic gray and black, kind of like wool. Oh, what does it remind me of? Like those wool skirts? Tweed, I think that's what is reminding me of tweed, but it's not tweed, it's definitely a big, thick wool. Cape coats, in my opinion, are just an effortless way to really elevate your look and keep it very feminine. This is like a structured, um, tailored one with that cape. Romanticizes it a little bit, but also just keeps it very classic and feminine. This one is very affordable from Chic Wish and it's very good quality. I absolutely love the neutral gray as well. Just works really well with the white blouse layered underneath it, kind of peeking through the sleeve. I just... Cape coats are always going to be in. They're just such a luxury piece. And then I didn't want to style ankle boots with this look in particular, which if I had like more of a straight leg jean, I feel like it would have looked better. But since the bottom of the jeans are loose, I just felt like the ankle boots that I own wouldn't do the outfit justice. So I went for black over the knee boots just to add a little bit more of that high end look to the outfit while keeping it nice and easy to wear and casual at the same time. So these are the boots I ended up opting out for. Black, since it really pulls in the black and gray in the cape, but doesn't take away from the white that I'm going for in this look, because I'm trying to keep it very light and feminine. And then just to add some more feminine details to the outfit, I did end up going for my black velvet hair bow, just to kind of add a little bit more to the look. Once again, I just feel like this cape has completely finished off this outfit. I'm starting to pull it out so much now, now that I've just recently added it to my closet, but I really like how it has this like quilted style in here because it does really add some warmth to it. And this material is so thick and good quality. This is such an affordable piece too. Chic Wish has some amazing cape styles and I'm definitely gonna continue investigating them and finding the best ones. But I also wanted to say like, I really do feel like the hair bow adds the finishing touch as well. But overall, like I just feel like this is a very elegant, but then you have like little slashes of girly pink in the outfit with the purse. I just, I really like it. But I am running into the problem once again, where it's just, kind of bunching up a little bit awkward around the knee area where the boots kind of pull up. So it's another issue that I'm running into. I just need to keep an eye out for a better pair of jeans. But these ones are so thick that they are so wearable right now. But I just, you know, a little bit of a problem there. But I feel like I can kind of overlook that because the outfit is just really, really amazing. I love it. Those are my six winter outfits that are very feminine but wearable at the same time. Some of these are a little bit more dressy since I myself like to dress up a little bit more, but I do feel like I got some really good casual outfits in there as well for those who don't. I definitely have my days where I don't want to dress up either, so... Anyway, I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you got some ideas from this. I feel like I'm just getting really inspired this year. So hopefully that will rub off on you and you can get some ideas for your closet. But let me know if you were able to recreate any of these looks. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.